Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a male in their early 20s who went to the ER because of pain in the arm and forearm and wrist, and also weakness in the wrist. They came on suddenly, and the ER doctor saw them and thought that it was maybe carpal tunnel syndrome that didn't really fit clinically, but they didn't know what else it would be, so they sent the patient home and uh, told them they may need to, get, need to get an MRI of the wrist to see if there's something going on in the wrist. And so we saw them a couple days later and the wrist um, was just paralyzed. The radial nerve was completely paralyzed. They couldn't elevate the hand. And we didn't think the wrist was going to show anything because it wouldn't explain the symptoms, but decided to go ahead and do the scan. And then um, uh, talking to the uh, patient's father, it turns out they did have history of IV drug abuse. and. Um, so what it turns out, this is a case of what they call Saturday night palsy. So the wrist is normal, no abnormal findings. Here's the triangular fiber cartilage over here. Scaphoid, lunate, tracheal bone, everything looks just fine. And this is something I had not heard of before, but doing some research, I learned about it. But a Saturday night palsy is a compression of the radial nerve. It happens sometimes in alcoholics or IV drug abusers. They may fall asleep, they have their arm over a chair or in a funny position over something elevated on the edge of a couch and uh, they compress the radial nerve usually in the axilla and then they get this paralysis of the radial nerve of palsy. It can take several weeks before it comes back and um, sometimes it can take even longer than that. Uh, other people who can uh, get a similar type of a palsy are people who use crutches. They compress the, the brachial plexus or nerves and they're in the axilla and they can get the, exactly the same finding. Or there's another thing called honeymooner, honeymooner's palsy and it's when um, People sleep together and uh, one of the arms is under the other uh, partner there and it gets compressed during the night while they're sleeping and they can have a, a radial nerve palsy just like this. But again, in this young IV drug abuser, um, this is a classic example of a Saturday night palsy, which is compression of the radial nerve. And so these patients just have a complete drop of their hand. Their, their hand is uh, like completely paralyzed. They cannot elevate their hand, cannot uh, extend it. Just get stuck in flexion. So if you see that, think about compression of the radial nerve uh, from sleeping, and thank you very much.